Alright guys, well uh, this is my DICE Electronics um, iPod connector. The way it um, pretty much works is, I mean, once you have it hooked up of course, turn it on, you hit mode, I have an auxiliary input as well, so that's the way that works. Got some Hispanic going on, there you go. Anyways, the way it works, hit mod mode right now it's actually yeah it's actually playing it right now the way you could tell if I'm one more time mode sometimes it does take a while for it to show up it has little tricks to it you know while it's playing shadow play um cold play do the cold play you could either move it through here it takes it it'll show the next song that's playing but It'll take a little while for it to show. So, another way you could also one is for to play the track whatever you want. Two is to it'll, it'll give you like a little list. Of, well, it'd be playlist. I say my playlist. Change it to the next one. You got alternative. Change it again. You got banda. Change it again. You got your classic rock. Change it again. I mean, you know what I mean. It got, it's got everything: dance, easy listening, flashbacks, funk, hip hop. I mean, whatever you want on your playlist, that's what you get. It takes a little bit to load, but once it's there, it's there. You know. If you like, if let's say you want to hear, I don't know, nah, how about you want to hear some old school? How about that? Some oldies. There you go. Alright, you want to hear all these? Bam, you press 1. Once it says CD1, you're good. To go back to, like, the song, bam. You know what I mean? To change it, I mean, you could either have, change it through here. It goes back to that mode, so then you hit the button one more time. There you go. Or you can change it through here and it won't change. You won't have to go back to there. You know? Or you could also change it through your steering wheel. And uh, number three is for artists. All. Here I got a broken T, Buddy Ali. And of course, in alphabetical order. And the same thing goes for that. After you pick whatever you want, press one, and it'll play nothing but their songs. Number four is for to stop it. Number one is for again to play whatever you have. But since you don't have nothing, you didn't choose anything. Hmm. What's wrong with it? That will happen, my friends. That's the thing about when you hook it up yourself. <laughs> but it should, yeah. There you go. It played it. Whichever song that was. Let's check it out. Oldies, funk. For some reggae. Bam, there you go. I guess user error pretty much. I'm still have I'm still getting used to it. I have some little stuff I'm not used to, but that's the way you do it. So four is for albums, there you go. See I knew I was wrong. I was right. It's not supposed to stop on you. But um four is for one is to play the ones you want. Two is for uh, playlists, three is for artists, four is for albums. Five, you pick five, go back to that. Select either iPod or your auxiliary. I'll change the auxiliary in a little bit. Like your dice uh, has uh, two things you could choose, either auxiliary or your um, iPod, of course. 
and then you go back. Yeah, you just switch it, bam, iPod, and then go back to one. Um, number five would be for the for your settings. Like if you have um, your navigational system, of course, you pick the words. It, it'll come standard. You just have to follow the instructions, pretty much. But um, other than that, that's my dice electronics, man. It's good stuff. It it. It saves you a lot of trouble instead of like you using your iPod and here at hand, bam, 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 and then when you get out of the car, you have to like take this, connect the auxiliary input, or hide the iPod. You know, it's just in your trunk or wherever you. If you run it to the front, it's even better because I mean, you don't have to open your trunk up every time you want to download some more music on there. You know. But yep, that's the way that works. And of course, exit out. You're out of there. So the first thing would pop up would be your dice. After that, your CD would pop out. Of course, I have no CD. After that, your other auxiliary input, if you have any. If you don't, then just go right to radio. So that's it. Alright, guys.